Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. It is a overhanging beam of total length of 14 meter. This overhanging portion has a length of 4 meter and this hanging portion is also 4 meter. And there are two pointed load of 6 kN and 6 kN acting at each end. And the mid portion is being loaded with a 2 kN per meter distributed load over the distance of 6 meter. So first we have to find out the support reactions for this beam and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Let's suppose that this is support A and this is support B. So we will have the reaction here in upper direction RA and this will be RB. If there is no horizontal force, so there is no need to consider the horizontal reactions of the hinge support. Now to find out this reaction, let's suppose we will use the equilibrium equation. Either submission of moment at any point is equal to zero or submission of vertical forces at any point is equal to zero or submission of horizontal forces. Since we don't have any horizontal forces, so we cannot use this equation. We also cannot use this equation because we have two unknowns here. When we have only one unknown, then we can use this equation. So we can only use this equation to find out the unknown reaction. So summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. So all the moment at point B will be taken. Let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So starting from this point, 6 kN is acting anti-clockwise about point B and this is the force of 6 kN and the moment arm will be 4 and 6. This whole distance from this point up to this point will be adding the 4 with the 6 to total will be 10 meter. So 6 multiplying with the 10 because it is the moment arm and it is acting in anti-clockwise so it will be taken as negative because it is what our sign convention. Now again this load 2 kN per meter is acting over this distance of 6 meter so it is also acting in anti-clockwise direction about point B so minus 2 into 6 into 3. Y3 because this load is a distributed load so the we have to convert into pointed load or concentrated load and then this load acts at the center of this beam here so the half of the 6 meter the, this load will act at the center of this beam so it will be 3 meter that's why the moment arm for this load will be the half of the 6 which is 3 meter now this RA is also acting in upper direction but it will create a clockwise moment about point B RA and to the moment arm, moment arm for the RA will be this distance 6 meter. So it is RA into 6 and also this load is acting in clockwise direction so this will create clockwise moment so 6 multiply with this moment arm the distance from this point up to point B is 4 meter so it is also plus 6 multiply with the 4 equal to 0. Summation of all moment we will take into account about point B. Now simply shifting all these values to the right side so in remaining this RA on left side so 6 RA will come out to be this will become positive so 60 and this will also become positive 36 and this will become negative as it is positive here so it will be minus 24 so by adding and subtracting we got 72 and here is 6 so RA comes out to be 12 kN. So this is the support reactions here at this support. It is 12 kN. RA is 12 kN. Now how to find out the RB? Now we can use this equation because we have only one unknown. So we will take help from this equilibrium equation. Summation of vertical forces are equal to zero and the, and the upper force is taken as positive and the downward force is taken as negative. This is just our sign convention. Now RA and RB are acting in upper direction. So it will be RA plus RB. So these are positive. While these are 6 kN, 6 kN and this distributed load is acting in downward direction. So it will be taken as negative minus 6 
minus 6 and minus 2 multiply with the 6 because we take this as 6 because this distributed load is distributed over the length of 6 meter so we have to multiply this load with the 6 meter summation of all vertical force is equal to 0 so we have to find RB so by shifting all this wheel into the right side we got 12 plus 12 minus R A and R B comes out to be 12 kilonewton. By putting this R A value 12 here, so 24 minus 12 we get 12 kilonewton. So R B is also 12 kilonewton. We have the same magnitude of two reaction because this beam has a symmetric loading. This load acts at one end, the other load acts at the other end, and there is a uniformly distributed load, so we will have the same reaction to this upcoming load. Now, we will draw the free body diagram for this beam, so it will look like this. There is a 6 kN, and then from the free body diagram, we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. This is also 6 kN. This load is 2 kN per meter. So this is the 2 kN per meter. Now this is the reaction. Ra is 12 kN and Rb is also 12 kN. So it is 12 and 12 kN. Now this distance is 4 meter. We know this distance is 6 meter and this distance also 4 meter. So this is our free body diagram for this overhanging beam. Now we can draw the shear force diagram. So we draw the reference lines. These are the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment diagram. So here we can write shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and here will be the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter so this load 6 kilonewton starting from this point we will start from this point and end at this point so 6 kilonewton is acting in negative direction so it will be acting downward so it will be negative this is a zero reference line for the shear force. So it is it downward minus 6? So it will be minus 6. So this is minus 6 is the shear force. And there, there is no load acting on this portion. So it will be horizontal line. Then there is a load of 12 kN acting in upper direction. So minus 6 and this will be taken as positive because 12 is acting upward while 6 was acting downward so minus 6 and plus 12 will be plus 6 so it will become positive 6 here this now this, there is a distributed load of 2 kN per meter over the distance of 6 meter so I will just multiply this 2 with the 6 so 2 multiplying with 6 we got 12 and this 12 is a load acting in downward direction so it will be minus 12. So plus 6 and minus 12 will be minus 6. So again we have minus 6 here. There is a reaction of 12 kN acting in upper direction. So it will be minus 6 adding with plus 12. So it will bring again here to the plus 6. Because 12 acting in upper direction so it is positive while this is minus 6 so adding the minus 6 with the plus 12 we get plus 6 again there is no load the straight line and there is a 6 kN acting load acting downward so it will be minus 6 so it, it will come out to be 0 here so this is the shear force diagram for this beam now this shear force is acting downward so it is negative this is positive this is negative and this is positive the shear four boxes which are acting and above the zero line will be taken as positive and the below will be taken as negative from these shear forces we will draw the bending moment diagram so 
the area of the shear force box will give us the bending moment value. The area of this shear box will be the bending moment value. Let's suppose this is A1, the area of this box. This is a rectangle, so it is a height of minus 6 and the distance, the length of this is 4 meter. So, minus 6 multiplied with 4, it will be minus 24. So, minus 24 starting from here, this will be 0. So, minus 24 here. Now, the area of this boss is acting in upward direction. This is positive. So, it will be added to this negative value. So, the area of this triangle, there is a triangle you can see here. There is a uniformly distributed load. So, here this will be the midpoint for this shear force will be half of the 6. There is a 6 meter distance. So, this will be 3 meter. And this remaining will also be 3 meter. So, the area of this triangle will be the half base into height. This is the base 3 and this is the height 6. So, A2 will be the area of this positive box. Half base into height. It comes out to be 9. And this is acting in upper direction. So, it is positive 9 because this box is positive. So, plus 9. So, now adding these two value minus 24 with plus 9. We got minus 15. So, it will be here. minus 15 in this way now th this box is also triangle is a 3 meter length and height is minus 6 but it is acting in downward direction so it will be a negative triangle now so it will be a3 half 3 into 6 comes out to be minus 9 so now adding this minus 15 with minus 9 we get minus 24 again so this minus 15 was before now we add with this triangle area which is minus 9 so we got minus 24 so again minus 24 magnitude moment now the area of this box is acting in upward direction so it is positive so we will find out the area of this box which is a rectangle 6 is the height and the length of this is 4 meter here this is 4 meter so, simply multiply the 6 with 4, it is 24. So, the area of this box is 24. So, we will add this 24 because it is positive in upper direction with this negative 24. So, minus 24 with this plus 24 will cancel each other. So, we will have 0 here. So, this is the bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. Now, one thing should be noted. This was the 0 degree line horizontal line shear force so this was the one degree line it was a linear line now this is a one degree line linear line so this bending moment will be a two degree line this will be a parabola similarly this was a zero degree line so it will be a one degree line so always kept in mind that the bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force diagram by degree i mean that the line inclination and the angle through which we will draw our line if this is a if the shear force is a two degree line then we will draw our bending moment is a cubic line hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video